Hey everybody, call me Felix, and today we're going to a classic carinderia that locals in this northwestern Philippine province of Ilocos Norte are frequent patrons of. Along the main highway running through Lawag City and San Nicolas is home to two popular carinderias here in Ilocos Norte, the original Dawangs and a place called either Lidameros or Jammy Rose Eatery. And today we're doing the latter, Jammy Rose Eatery, famous for its daily roast lechon baboy. On our first trip to Ilocos, I heard a lot about this fabled carinderia serving up lechon, but it seemed like the stuff of myth, because if you looked up Google Maps, you would see that the original Jammy Rose Eatery is long gone. Ask any local today to take you to Jammy Rose or Lidameros, and they will take you here to Jan's Lechon and Jay's Carinderia. Even if the name keeps changing, you better hope the song remains the same, and judging by the locals flocking to this place, the food still lives up to the Jammy Rose reputation. You have to come quite early for Jammy Rose's famous Lechon, as by 11 to 11.30 a.m. they are sold out, or even earlier. We were here for breakfast quite early, well before the roast lechon came out around 9 a.m. As we had a big outing planned that day, journeying out to Badok to hang out by the floating cottages, and we ordered two kilos of lechon for takeout to graze on while hanging out in Badok. The lechon here at Jammy Rose is reputed to be the best in Ilocos, as it's famous for its satisfying, unctuous, crunchy, and fatty skin. Having tried some truly wondrous lechon up and down the Philippines, I was eager to see how Ilocos' best lechon stacks up against some of the best I've tasted. Because this is a full-on carinderia, Jammy Rose is known for other Filipino comfort food specialties. A picture of Jammy Rose's Sinang Lao or Beef Pak Siu is probably slotted next to the Merriam-Webster dictionary definition of Filipino comfort food, a truly unapologetically beefy beef soup. We also try out another popular provincial specialty that was almost sold out the day we were there, crispy dunuguan with plenty of crunchy fried innards and a truly interesting blood sauce. Here's how our review of Jammy Rose Eatery went down. Enjoy. All right, everybody, we have a huge day ahead of us, so we're eating a very hearty breakfast. Um, here is some Ilocano salad. I think it's... um. Banana blossom, some tomato, some green beans, <coughs> and then we have some good old-fashioned pinakbet, which looks a little bit soupy. There's some plenty of vegetables here. There is a bed of rice, but what I'm looking forward to the most is their sinang lao. Sinang lao? It's basically like beef paksu or pinapaitan. Maybe there's not as much bile. But typically, it's um, beef, beef or goat or lamb. But this is tip. This is beef, and lots of meat pieces, and there's some innards as well. Look at the fatty, fatty meat. So look at that fatty meat. Looks like brisket, but. There you go. I think this begs to be eaten with rice. Okay, so I'm gonna just take some, put it on some rice. Looks really gelatinous, this beef piece. There we are. You can taste like a light ginger um, flavor that's coming out of that fat. I'm gonna try some of that soup. Oh yeah. Look how oily and beefy that broth is. I mean, it's almost as if someone melted a stick of butter in here, but that's just beef. Yeah, look at that sheen of broth. Then of course, there's some intestine in here. No gamey flavor at all, just nice, chewy, slightly elastic. Look at the big beef pieces. They're here. Really big. So even though it's quite beefy, I think it's a gentle beef flavor. And then... It's a little bit oily. So it doesn't really have like the luscious mouthfeel quite. But I mean, it's very comforting soup anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna follow this up with some beef kilowin. So this is some beef that's been 
mixed with some vinegar. Did you mix some vinegar in here, Dad? Yeah. Okay. So Dad mixed in some extra Sukangin local vinegar. So this is served uh, as like raw beef with some onions, some ginger. There we go. That beef is really soft. Like, um, it kind of feels like ahi tuna. No off-putting flavor either. Fresh meat. From those onions, ginger, vinegar, they they lend some awesome freshness too. What should we go for next? Um, let's have some pinak bet. Well, of course, we're in the locals. One must have some pinak bet. Now just crunch out of that bitter gourd too. I like the bitter gourd that's like a little more punchy. And with this, it goes good even if it's a little bit soupy. I guess the last thing I'll review here is this um, Ilocano salad. You see there are some um, banana blossoms, or the heart of the banana blossom. And then some tomatoes, or some green beans, or some bagoong, a little bit of a shrimpy paste. I've been snacking on this while Warren took some shots of the lechon carving. Basically, there's a light shrimp paste flavor to those vegetables. Quite slight. So it adds some savoriness on top of those banana blossoms. So it feels and tastes like a kind of um, meat and vegetable salad, even though this is really banana blossoms that takes on a kind of, you know how jackfruit, younger jackfruit kind of takes on like a pulled pork kind of consistency. Well, that's kind of like what this is here too, but this is quite fresh. Vegetables, beans are snappy, tomatoes juicy. This is also a good dish to pair with other things. Our maisinang lao bowl is empty, as you can see. So I'm gonna, the cool thing here is that they replenish your soup for free. That beef kilo wen is really good. It's like, um, kind of like a Filipino steak tartare. And then the pinak bet, flavors are about point. Um, despite the fact for me, it's a little soupy. Ooh la la, look at that, bring it that way, this way. Wow. Their lechon is go pretty good here. Yeah. yeah. So we ordered two kilos and we mo ordered it to go. So we were supposed to get some for dine in, but we're just gonna take some of our kilo because we're gonna bring this, some of this to Badok, I think, with us. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Oh my goodness. Look at that fatty part there. Let's dunk that in some liver sauce. Hello, hello there. Hello. And there we are, waiting the sumptuous piece of Jammy Rose's famous lechon. There we are. Dad gave me a wing piece with a bit of, that's a mouthful to get through. No, he gave me meat and then fat and then skin. And the skin was relatively thin, so. Well, that part had a thinner skin, but it wasn't nearly as crunchy. I think I'll try this part here. Because I think I got a leaner, I think I got a leaner piece. So that was quite a mouthful to chew on. It's just really porky. I don't think there's like any kind of special seasoning there. It's all about the peg. This is how I would say. And that gave me another lean piece, oh boy. The liver sauce is really good because it almost tastes like, there's like a slight, there's no black beans to it, but it's like a slight black bean sweetness I'm getting, very light. No way is it like Mang Tomas liver sauce. It is really luscious, very refined too. Okay, the real litmus test is the skin. Okay, that skin is nice and crunchy, but not really glassy. I'm not nearly as... I mean, it's rewarding on its own, but I think... Compared to, I guess we're spoiled with lechon. Let me try again. 
Yes. Oh yeah. That's the perfect bite. Hmm. That crackling is really good. Yeah, that's almost a perfect piece right there. Nice fat ratio, crunches through like glass. This one looks crunchy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but of course this is not made in Cebu style, so it's not like you get lemongrass out of it or anything, but. Again, this is a pe this lechon is basically just about the peg, how it tastes like. This looks like some onions. Ginger and chili pepper. Onions, ginger. Maybe a bit of sitting labuyo, I'm not sure. There's the cartilage and fat in this piece. There you go. It's like that sauce is almost like um, ginger garlic paste that you would get with Hainanese chicken rice, except that it has like a gentle, like an onion, arroz caldo sort of flavor. There you go. <laughs> there we go. There's even like a little bit of Teensy bit of sesame oil, I think, too. I really like both sauces. This one, to me, almost is like um, a cross between ginger garlic paste and then a really oniony arroz caldo broth that's light. Mmm, look at that. I think like the seasoning of the lechon is a little hit or miss, but the thing is, that's the reason why I have two different types of sauces. Um, but yeah, I think it's like some of the best lechon you can get in your locals as far as um, from Macarindaria especially, and they do this every day, apparently. That's what they're famous for up here. So I realized that I have been doing this for the second half of the blog is all lechon. Well, you know, can I help it? So for me, I think that the seasoning of the lechon, like as it is, is kind of hit or miss. And it's really just about the pig, but the sauce work is good. Next. I think I like this a little more than the liver sauce. I love the fresh hit of the onion, the ginger. It really almost tastes like ginger garlic paste in some way for me. It's like eating um, a chicharron chip with the consistency of like a potato chip or and dipping in some salsa. Weird how you can get lechon chips and salsa out of that. All right, so I've moved on from lechon. I think we're gonna save that for badok. I got me an extra bowl of sinang lao, but they got the last of this. Crispy dunuguan. And they have all these crispy bits, and this is the last of it. This is, they sold out, and this is the last bit. So I'm just gonna take this chicharron bit, put in some blood sauce, there we go. So I get like a little bit of, and this is gonna sound strange to you, That blood sauce is really smooth. And for me, it almost tastes like pizza sauce with a little bit of oregano. <laughs> That's gonna rush or get some pizzas before I, it runs out for me. Is yeah, durbab. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. I mean, there's just nothing but savoriness in that blood sauce. I mean, it's really clean. This is what they don't tell you at home. You can dip your lechon in blood sauce. There you go. <laughs> so if it's a little too lean for you, you just put in blood sauce. There you are. Hmm. So I've already established the three best things you get at Jami Rose. There's lechon. Crispy Dunuguan, and then this. Beauty. And also get some beef killer wind while you're at it too. So really four dishes. My goodness, look at that. So I'm gonna shut this off and enjoy this and then I think we're on our merry way to Badok. See you in a bit. All right, so that wraps up our video at the Jammy Rose Eatery by another name and sign of Jian's Lechon and Jay's Carinderia. It's a must to help yourself to a portion of Jammy Rose's daily Lechon Baboy. And make sure to ask for extra skin and fat. 
as the skin is truly glossy with a satisfying and decadently juicy fat to go with some succulent meat. The taste of the pig itself is on the bland side, but the liver sauce and the lasuna sauce, as in that green onion and ginger paste, are fantastic compliments to the lechon. On a side note, I was also impressed by the crunchiness of that lechon skin a few hours later as we snacked on it while hanging out by the beach in Badok later that day. Also, as mentioned, the beef sinang lao, beef kalawin, and crispy dinuguan are fantastic muscle order dishes at Jami Rose as well. Next time on the blog, we're heading south towards the hidden seaside gem of Badok, right on the provincial border of Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur. Badok is known for several tourist sites and you can visit them all in a few hours. La Virgen Milagrosa Chapel, the floating cottages shared with the border town of Sinait in Ilocos Sur, and a 15 to 20 minute island hopping trip to Badok Island, a white sand beach island with crystal clear water. However, trips to Badok Island can get tricky in skinny dinghies and rough surf from the West Philippine Sea. Did we make it across? And lastly, Warren sees something for the first time in his young life he never dreamed of seeing not too long ago. What was it? You'll have to watch for the next episode. And on that note, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up as that helps a lot. And better yet, subscribe for more of our food and travel related adventures as we have plenty to share. Keep cool but care and remember, the empire never ended.